The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo Song to Garasim the Misunderstood At a young age, the monk Garasim took a vow of silence, and he kept to it for over fifty years, never speaking a word. In his seventieth year, he bid his brother monks goodbye and set forth from the monastery where he had lived his entire life. He made a pilgrimage across the true sea and saw many strange places and extraordinary things. When he returned, the duke who owned the land where the monastery stood ordered that Garasim appear before him and tell the court of his journeys and the wonders he had beheld. But Garasim would not break his vow. The duke and his wife were not pleased and called for the abbot, who begged Garasim to speak, telling him that otherwise the monastery might forfeit the goodwill of their landlord and the monks might lose their home. He promised that the saints would forgive him for breaking his vow of silence. But Garasim had not spoken since he was fifteen. He had been at the monastery many years before the abbot and long since forgotten the use of his tongue. Still, he did not want his brothers to lose their home. He gestured for paints and brushes to be brought to him, and there, in the grand hall of the duke's home, he painted a mural that stretched from floor to ceiling and wall to wall. It showed the prairies and ports of Novi Zim, the crowded harbors of Kerch, the mists and stony shores of the wandering isle. It showed creatures of every shape and size, orchards blooming with unfamiliar fruit, men and women in all manner of dress and finery, and in the very last corner the duke's gracious palace. Garasim painted himself and the abbot standing before the duke and duchess, both the nobleman and his beautiful wife dressed in gold. It was said that the saints guided his hand, for no single man could create a work so fine as that. The colors glowed as if lit by sunlight, and the clouds seemed to move across the painted sky. But in the end, the duke and the duchess did not care for the way they had been depicted and ordered Garasim executed. He died without ever speaking a word, not even to plead for his life. The monks were commanded to leave their home and the monastery was destroyed, its stones used to build a new wing of the duke's palace. Ten years later, while the duke was hosting a lavish feast, an earthquake struck. Neither the old palace nor the new wing were harmed, not a stone shaken, except for the wall bearing Garasim's mural. It collapsed, killing the duke and the duchess and all their guests, burying them beneath the old monk's wonders. Garasim is known as the patron saint of artists.